Good morning, America, family, friends, and anybody else that might be watching. You may have guessed by now that I have no plan when it comes to these videos. There's no timeline, no itinerary on the content or the timing of the videos. I just kind of put stuff out there. I don't know anything about editing or any of that sort of stuff. I don't know anything about how to look not so fat in the video or any of that kind of stuff, which is okay, whatever. Anyway, this morning, <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to talk about healthy skepticism. There is so much stuff being said on the interwebs and in the news and all sorts of TV shows and media outlets. And if you get all your news solely from the internet, you need to have some healthy skepticism. Not just the internet, but you know, TV in general. <clears throat> Everything that comes across on a news station by reporters or journalists or whatever isn't true. It's not all true. It's not all false, but everything that comes out of there isn't the gospel. You know, it, it used to be when, you know, when I was a kid growing up and a, a guy like, uh, you know, Walter Cronkite came on TV, he would tell a story and he would say something like, there was a wreck in the town square, this many people were hurt, uh, and then he'd just go on to the next story. And that was it. You know, there was no slant. There was no agenda. Uh, you know, he wasn't trying to spin the story in a particular way. And nowadays, it seems like, um, I don't know, every journalist wants to make their mark in the journalistic history books. So when they tell a story, there's always some sort of slant, you know, not just on TV. And it ain't just, you know, liberal news stations. You know, Fox News is the same way. They're all the same way. You know, there, there's an agenda. You know, if there wasn't an agenda, there to be... <clears throat> the stories would be boring. You know, they'd say this happened or that happened, and that would just be the end of it. Anyway, the point being today is this. You have a brain in your head, and the brain that you have is amazing. It can do all kinds of things. Whether you believe that or not, that brain is the most powerful supercomputer on planet Earth. It's the biggest brain of any uh, living creature compared to their body size. Uh, that's why we're at the top of the intellectual food chain, so to speak. Um, so, spend some time, spend some brain cells. If you hear a particular story, uh, if you think that it's true, don't, don't take it at its face value, you know what I mean? Listen, listen to the story, maybe try to verify it, maybe try to do a little bit of research or something like that, but be skeptical. You know, question everything question everything you know when I was a kid my granddad used to tell me believe half of what you see and none of what you hear you know in my life um, I've applied that to a great many things you know uh, there's tons of things out there that man they look really good on the on the surface but then you know when you start to dig a little bit not not so good but anyway I hope you guys are having a great day Keep your head up. Ingest a large amount of healthy skepticism. Question everything. You know, you never know. You might just be an average person that questions, I don't know, maybe some sort of scientific theory. And then accidentally, you come up with an idea or a thought, or maybe even you figure out something that turns out to be fact in a scientific theory. They may change the whole ball game. Every, everybody is special and everybody has that potential. So, healthy skepticism. Learn it, practice it, question everything. Stay alert, stay alive, have a great day, keep your head up. We'll see you on the next time.